Good morning, kids. Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. I got a second dog. Just kidding, no I didn't. I am dog sitting. Hi guys. I have my bar cart that's normally out in the living room in the bathroom. They're super calm and seem all adorable right now, but they play so hard with each other, which I love. It makes me so happy to see them love on each other and like get all their energy out and play and have a good time but they are totally unaware of their surroundings when they're in play mode and yeah i have this glass bar cart from amazon with all these glasses on the bottom and alcohol bottles a lot of breakable things so i was like um i'm just gonna keep this in here uh to be safe i have a bunch of errands to run today i'm gonna bring you guys along and we're gonna get all caught up on everything i think this vlog is gonna end up being like a compilation because i have a bunch of footage from the last few weeks but if you know me you know that i cannot leave the house without putting perfume on and this portion of the vlog is sponsored by scentbird if you've never heard of them they are basically a perfume subscription you get a 30-day supply of a perfume a designer brand name perfume and it's just a great way to try different perfumes if you're like on the hunt for your new signature scent you're not really sure what perfumes you like i feel like when you go into a store and you're just testing perfumes out it gets overwhelming because you're smelling so many different ones at once the smells kind of mesh together and I do feel like you need to actually wear a perfume on your body let it mix with your natural pheromones in order to really get a good idea of how it smells on you specifically how long it lasts etc so it's nice to be able to get a 30-day supply and if you compare the size to like a traditional sample that you would get of a perfume in a store i mean hello like look at the size difference and i love the packaging it's so easy it comes in like this magnetic case you just pop out like that you can see the perfume and how much you're actually getting it has the name on there and then you just pop it back in and it just snaps together like that it's super easy and then it's really easy to use you can pop it in the locked position if you're throwing it in your purse or something and then you just twist it to unlock and then it just sprays right out of there like that so they sent me quite a few to try i got bitch please by confessions of a rebel and that one actually is my favorite out of all of these and then dolce and gabbana light blue which is another one of my favorites dkny be delicious which was my favorite i used to wear this all the time in high school this is like an og favorite of mine versace bright crystal absolute and burberry brit sheer but yeah the bitch please is my favorite scent this is the one that i've been wearing the last few weeks it's like a nice sophisticated smell it says that the notes are black currant jasmine sandalwood and skin musk i don't know it literally just gives off like bad bitch vibes oh my god it smells so good highly highly recommend and scentbird did give me a discount code for you guys to use make sure to click the link in my description and use my code sam they to get 55 percent off your first fragrance That'll make your first month about $8 as opposed to $17. And thank you so much, Scentbird, for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I just realized I left my window cracked in the car. It's a good thing it didn't rain last night. So I am on my way to run some errands. Um, today's Monday, which is one of my days off from the salon. I'm trying to still figure out my schedule you know like what days and what hours am i going to be at the salon and what days do i want to run my errands what days do i want to get my youtube work done i'm trying to just have some consistency so that way i can have consistency in my work and it's been a little bit of an adjustment period the last few weeks hence why i haven't really posted much but we'll talk more about that i have to go now i have a wax appointment and then an eyelash uh extension fill it's such like a gloomy day i don't know if you can tell it's gloomy and it's cold it's 
my car says it's 62 degrees, but compared to how it's been and what I'm used to, it feels like winter right now. Like it literally, the way that the sky looks, it's so gray. It really is just reminding me of winter time up north. Gloomy, cold, cold for me, cold. <laughs> but I do definitely have to go to Walmart and I have just like some household things I need to restock on and a couple grocery items. So yeah, I'm just gonna be out and about. And then when I get back home, I have some computer work that I wanna do. But while I'm out running these errands, let's backtrack because like I mentioned, I attempted to vlog a few times over the last couple of weeks, but I just ended up getting like really busy and overwhelmed and I just never continued. So I have footage from like a few random days here and there. So we're gonna go back to like a couple weeks ago and we'll just get all caught up and then we'll come back to today after I get back home from running my errands. So let's rewind a bit. Nothing better. It is currently Tuesday morning, almost Tuesday, it's almost 11. I've already been up for several hours at this point. This is technically my second cup of coffee. I was just getting caught up on some computer work stuff and like emails and whatnot. If you don't follow me on Instagram, first of all, you should. But I was out of town this past weekend on a salon staff retreat. My new boss at the salon that I started working at a few weeks ago rented out this big, beautiful beach house for the long weekend for all of us on Bald Head Island in North Carolina. It's about an hour or so away from where I live in Wilmington, but it's an island, so you have to take the ferry to get there, which was really cool. And it was my first time going there, but it was such an experience. Cars are not allowed on the island, so everyone has to just drive around in golf carts. And there's not really much there. It's just a lot of beach, obviously, and houses. And there's a few, there's like a little market and a few restaurants. Um, and like a souvenir shop, but that's kind of it. It was truly a total escape from reality. And there was 20 of us all in this one beach house and it was so nice. She had a family friend come over and cook us a huge dinner the first night. We had lobster and steak and a bunch of veggies and tons and tons to drink. Basically the whole weekend we were just drinking laughing, dancing, getting to know each other. And then on Sunday, we spent the entire day on the beach and she had all these games set up for us and like relay races. It was so much fun. And it was the perfect bonding experience because obviously I just started working there maybe a month ago and I'm still trying to get to know everyone. So I feel like now I really got to know each person on like a very personal level. And it just makes me feel so good to work where I do. Cause it just feels so good to have a boss that like 
truly wants to give back to her employees. But I got back yesterday morning and I am still exhausted. I barely slept the entire time we were at the beach house and drinking and being out in the sun and doing all those beach activities. Like I was so drained. And then I had signed up for these workout classes and I ended up going to my first one yesterday afternoon even though I was already so tired and so sore. But I went and I loved it, but now I'm even more exhausted and more sore, and I have to leave in about 40 minutes to go do my second workout class. And I really don't feel like going, but I told myself I would go. So I figured if I whip out the vlog camera, hopefully this will give me a sense of accountability. I always feel like when I'm vlogging, it feels like someone else is watching me. I mean, obviously people are watching after the fact, but I feel like I'm being watched and so I have to follow through with what I say. It's like when you tell another person you're gonna do something, then you feel more obligated to actually do it, you know? Anyway, I am about to make myself a quick breakfast. So I'm just gonna do two eggs and some toast and then I'm gonna go do this workout class and then I have to come back home, shower, and get ready because then I have work later at three. Looking at the schedule, I should hopefully be done by like eight tonight. Mm, we'll see. I'm about to go head out to my workout. I'm just wearing this little crop top with like a built-in sports bra from Airy, Adidas workout leggings. I got my big ass bottle of water. I'm dressed, I'm ready to go. I am gonna head out now. I'll see you when I get back and I will let you know how the workout went. Just got home from my workout. My whole body feels like jello, like even just holding this camera up is difficult right now. So I'm gonna sit down, drink some water, take a breather, hop in the shower, and then I have to get ready to go to work. Oh man, I just had a sneezing attack. Oh no, I feel another one coming. <coughs> I'm getting ready. For work, I'm doing my usual quick, light, no makeup, makeup kind of thing. A little Tarte under eye concealer. And then I'm gonna do just a dot of Rare Beauty liquid blush. And then a little bit of the iconic London liquid highlighter on my cheeks and a little on the tip of my nose. I am feeling rough right now i have like a little pimple i mean it's a baby one it's not one of those like big painful cystic ones thank god but i feel that trying to pop through and then i just noticed it looks like i'm starting to get a cold sore on my lip which i'm so pissed about i haven't gotten one in years and i was so happy i was like oh yes i also like rarely get sick or anything my immune system has just been doing me really well the last few years and uh, I think this trip just got to me like the lack of sleep I think was the biggest thing about it just doing a little bit of brow gel this is just the Sephora brand their brow voluminizing fiber mascara in the shade deep brown I honestly do not feel like going to work right now i mean luckily i only have to be there for like maybe hopefully five hours max which isn't terrible but i just really would love nothing more than to be able to stay home and rest a little bit and just snuggle up with benny because i missed him so much the entire trip luckily the place that i boarded him at they do cage-free boarding and they have webcams all over the place so you can check in 24 7 and watch your dogs so i was constantly like stepping away to go check on him and i sent the link to my mom so i had family checking in on him as well that's why it's so funny like even though this week kind of just started i already can't wait for the weekend so i can just have some time to get caught up on sleep and just like lay around and do nothing and be alone my social battery is also kind of drained right now too so i know my introverted friends get it so i'm gonna make myself a smoothie for lunch which is gonna be perfect because it'll be fast and then easy for me to just bring with me super simple i just do spinach unsweetened plain coconut milk half of a frozen banana and then whatever other 
frozen fruit that I have on hand, which at the moment I have this berry medley. Now I'm gonna make some liquid IV, which I do have a discount code by the way, not sponsored, but I mentioned them like several times in past videos because I really am like obsessed. It helps so much. Like if you're feeling super dehydrated, you have a headache or you're feeling like you might get sick or you're really hungover or like anything. It just, it says on here like all the different benefits. It, it's basically a hydrator that you just add to water. It tastes really good. It's only 45 calories per stick, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, vegan. But this one that I have is the hydration multiplier plus immune support. This one is tangerine flavor, but they have a bunch of different flavors. I've tried so many. I've tried the guava, the acai berry, passion fruit. All of them are really good. Like there hasn't been a single one that I've tried that I didn't like. I can't remember what my code is or how much it'll save you. I have to dig through my email to find it, but I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to use it. But otherwise, if you would prefer to get it in store, they sell it at like Target, Walmart, regular drugstores probably. Then I'm also gonna take some vitamin C supplements. I still have to show you my outfit. I have this little tied up crop top. I got it a few years ago from Cotton On. And then these pants are actually thrifted and they're way, way too long on me, but I actually really like the look of that. And then I'm just going to wear black pillow slides. Since these are so long, they usually just kind of cover over my shoes and you can't really see what shoes I'm wearing anyway. So I'm just going to wear what's as comfortable as possible. I found that when I have closing shifts at the salon, it tends to not be as busy. Like most people have their schedules like really packed full at the beginning of the day. And then by the time I get there, it's not as busy. So I feel like not as many people are seeing me and I don't have to be like as dressy and cute as I am when I have an opening shift. Especially because a lot of the closing duties at the end of the night, I don't want to say like, it, it's physical activity, but there is a pool at the salon and part of my job when I'm closing is to Cover all of the outdoor furniture close down the outdoor umbrellas throw the pool Filter cleaner thing in there clean the floors stuff like that So I've been finding that it's just easier for me to wear like comfier clothes when I'm closing because if I'm in like a dress and heels or whatever it makes it more difficult to do those tasks. I'm gonna vlog a little bit when I'm there tonight. Since it should be a little bit slower, I'll try to get some more footage of the salon and show you guys around a little bit. Hello, good morning. I am currently getting ready for work and I wanted to try something kind of different with my hair. And uh, if it goes well, I figured, let me record the process. So if anyone asks how I did it, you can see. So I'm just putting a little bit of mousse in my hair. This is the Goldwell Ultra Volume Top Whip Mousse. 
then I washed my hair last night. I'm just gonna mix mousse and water. Finger comb it through. I wanna get kind of like a wavy look going. So I'm just tugging a little bit to try to stretch my curls out. Make them a little bit looser. And then up top, I'm gonna use my bedhead waver and just define a little bit in some areas. And then I'm just gonna do the mousse and water on the ends. That looks pretty cute. It's hard to see with my black shirt on. I'll show it to you a little bit better once I'm dressed, but yeah, I was just kind of going for like that mermaid, wet hair kind of look, but without it like looking and feeling super crunchy. So again, all I took was some mousse, mix it with some water, just finger combed it through my hair and kind of like pull down at my curls to loosen them up a little bit. I'll put a link to this mousse specifically down below, but there isn't really anything special about this. So any mousse that you have will work just fine. And then up top, I just defined a couple pieces. I used the bed head away if we go waver. And then I took my blow dryer on high heat, low speed. And I just kind of like tugged on my ends and I just pointed the blow dryer down so that it would dry the hair, but also prevent the curls from bouncing up too much so that it would stay more of like a looser wave. If you have naturally straight hair, you can do exactly what I did with the mousse and the water, finger comb it through, and then put your hair in braids and sleep with it overnight. And then after you let the braids out in the morning, you should get kind of a similar result. Here's the outfit that I'm wearing. I was feeling Canadian tuxedo vibes. I've been watching the show Dahmer on Netflix and a lot of the show takes place in the early 90s and I was seeing a lot of denim on denim and I think I was just inspired by that. So I have this cropped jacket from Zara, these mom jeans from American Eagle. They're not the exact tone of denim, but these were the closest that I have to these. And I noticed that these have color stains on them from when I used to do hair. So <laughs> I'm gonna uh, use my bleach pen later tonight. Hopefully I can get the stain out a little bit, but I don't really think, now that I drew attention to it, I feel like it stands out a lot, but I don't think anyone will pay attention or notice that, hopefully, whatever. Um, it, I work in a hair salon, everybody has stains on their clothes. Anyway, <laughs> um, and then these mules are from Aldo. Here's how the hair looks. You can see it a little bit better now. I haven't used this car mount in so long. Hopefully it stays suctioned to the windshield. Um, but it is currently 82 degrees, which is so funny. Cause like, you know, before I moved down here, 82 would have been like nice, hot summer weather but now i'm so used to it being so much hotter than that and so humid that i feel like the second the temperature drops down into like the mid to low 80s it's like oh long sleeves and long pants <laughs> but yeah i know every time i post a vlog i always get comments that are like we want more vlogs and i really want to vlog more too i am going to make it my mission to hopefully go back to doing weekly vlogs every single week i feel like i've just been super super busy taking on the second job i i think i like bit off a little bit more than i could chew like I originally thought like, oh, I'll just get this part-time job, just kind of work a little bit here and there throughout the week. Then when we were making the schedule, I was like, oh yeah, I could work like 30 weeks, that's no problem. Not realizing like doing YouTube is very much a full-time job. And I know I have not been posting nearly enough, but I just haven't had the time. And I don't mean to like complain or, you know, like be whiny or whatever, but you know, with 
doing YouTube and doing the podcast and then also working in the salon now and living by myself I think that's part of it also because obviously when I was still living in Pennsylvania I was doing hair and YouTube at the same time and I was working a lot but I like still had a good balance I feel like but it's because I was living with my boyfriend at the time and he was able to help me and like if I was gonna be working late he could cook dinner and we would help each other out with like house chores and with the dog so being by myself and having to like have all of that responsibility just on myself and not having someone else to help me or like pick up the slack ever even with just simple things like grocery shopping I don't know it's like more than I realized it would be and I find myself just really overwhelmed it's funny because part of why I wanted to get the second job was so I could get out of the house and like meet new people and I have but I feel like now I'm overworking myself so much during the week that come the weekend I'm so exhausted that I just want to stay home so like I'm not really having much of a social life if anything I feel like I'm socializing less now than I was so I don't know I need to figure out my schedule and probably cut back a little bit at the salon because this was really just meant to be like a secondary job that was supposed to like bring good things and positivity into my life not stress me out more you know I, I mean really that's just like my own fault I for biting off more than I could chew and overestimating how much I could fit in a week you know I'm about 10 minutes away from work so be there soon I will see you in a bit So this is the basement where we have all the laundry and we have a little break room area down here. Always bring the phone down with me because there's hair assistants here too that part of their job is to stay on top of the laundry also, but you know, they get busy helping with the clients. So in those moments, I will just kind of help make sure laundry is being kept up with so that way we don't run out of clean towels and sheets because it is a full service salon and spa. So they do massages and facials and nails. So lots of laundry to be done constantly all day long. So yeah, whenever I get a free moment, I will come down, check on the laundry, but I always bring the phone with me because I swear it'll be pretty calm. And then the second that I leave the front desk to go do something, it'll get crazy and it's like everything will happen at once. And we're back to current time. I am dying i feel kind of bad but it's just so funny at the same time i just got back from running my errands and i was taking the dogs out and you know i have both of them on their leashes and as i am coming around the corner going down the stairs my neighbor right below me was coming out of her door and xena my friend's dog that i'm watching very like startled her like this lady's door is opening and she's like stepping out of her door so she barked and I mean, I have her on the leash. Like she wasn't anywhere near the lady's door. She was not going after the lady. Like I had her under full control, <laughs> but I think they just both startled each other. And the lady literally was like stepping out of her door, screamed, literally <laughs> screamed <laughs> and ran inside and slammed her door really fast. <laughs> I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, it was like just, I don't know. I know she's a scary looking dog and I understand that, you know, if you're just opening your door and you see this dog and hear it barking, like, I, I get it. I don't think that she overreacted, but it was, it was just like the screaming, like the, I don't know. It, it had to be there, I guess. So I ended up going to Target instead of Walmart because I was over on that side of town. 
and I just prefer Target anyway. But I got a couple snack things that I thought we could try, or I could try on camera with you, I should say. So the first thing I got are these lemon white chocolate chip cookie bites. Ooh, they smell really good. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. And then I was so excited. I have been dying to try this. The pumpkin spice latte Tazo concentrate. You guys know I love the chai tea concentrate from this brand. This stuff, I keep it in my fridge at all times. But I saw that they have a pumpkin spice one now and I love me a pumpkin spice latte or just, you know, pumpkin spice coffee, anything like that. So I wanted to get it to try it. So all you have to do is combine it with whatever kind of milk you like. And you can do it hot or iced. I'm just gonna do it iced. It's really, really yummy. It tastes pretty similar to the chai one though. I feel like if somebody just gave this to me and didn't tell me what it was, I would have just thought it was the chai one. Like it's very similar to that. It doesn't taste like the pumpkin syrup from Starbucks. But anyway, it's five o'clock now, and it's like that weird in-between time. I'm hungry because I didn't really eat much today, but it's like too late for lunch, but kind of early for dinner. So I think I'll just make an early dinner, and then if I get hungry later, I'll just make like a little snack or something. But yeah, I'm gonna make dinner now and get a little bit of computer work done and just like hang out and, you know, try to enjoy the rest of my day off. I ended up being out of the house running my errands for like four and a half hours. So that ate up a lot of the day. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you, this lighting is awful. I wanna show you my lashes. Ignore the freaking pimples on my lip. I'm so upset. I think it's just been from stress because nothing else has really changed, but I, broke out in a couple places and I got this one first and it was so painful and then it finally like it's still red but it's pretty flat now and I was like oh thank god I'm done with that and then another one popped up and I, this one is just as painful and I'm really upset about it now that I feel like I'm getting caught up with everything and I'm like settled into a routine a little bit more I'm hoping that I can de-stress and just get back into like a good routine of taking care of myself inside and out and all that good stuff. But anyway, yeah, um, lashes are looking amazing. She does a wet look, I think is what she calls it, or like a mascara look. I don't know, but I just love it because they still pop, but they're not like too full where it looks crazy if I don't have makeup on. If you live in the Wilmington area, I'll put my lash text information in the description. Highly recommend. She is very talented. The rest of the evening completely got away from me. It is now 11, 10 p.m. Can you even see that? There you go, 11, 11 now. I've just been sitting in bed on my laptop creating podcast content so you get a little sneak peek my friend julia and i have a podcast together if you didn't already know i always have it linked in the description of every video we decided to take a little bit of a break from it um, we were posting episodes every week or mostly every week and um it just got to be too much she's been working longer hours at work and then obviously i got this extra job and as i've already said a million times in this video i've just been very overwhelmed and super busy so it was getting to the point where the podcast was not fun anymore like i was starting to dread it we started it as a hobby just as something fun for us to both do together and I didn't want to like end up resenting it or have it go to shit because neither of us had like the energy for it anymore. So I was like, you know, maybe we should just take a little bit of a break, regroup, get re-inspired. I'm really glad that we're doing this because instead of me stressing like, oh my God, we have to record an episode and I have to edit it and we have to, you know, get it up and post on Instagram and whatever, like... Instead, I have the time to 
sit here and just be creative and I was just doing like some new branding getting a color scheme and like our fonts because when we started the podcast we didn't really take much time to like figure all that stuff out we were just like oh my god yeah let's do this it'll be so fun okay what's the name gonna be great let's make an Instagram an email boom get it up and we just recorded our first episode and we just hit the ground running I don't know I just feel like we could definitely use a little more like consistency but anyway it's pretty late now so I am just gonna go to sleep I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you really soon in another video bye